Hello. This video will be over Kivi iOS and how to install Kivi on an iOS device to get your project up and working. And so the Kivi app that I'm going to use is one that was in a previous video. So if you just left off from there, that's great. You can follow along with these steps if you've never done this before. If not, just follow along with your own app. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. We were just checking to make sure that the app worked on Mac OS, and it does. And we're going to go back to our terminal. Well, let's see. I'm looking at my notes over here on the side. So we're going to go to the documentation for creating a package for iOS. Everything will be listed below this video if you want to just follow the steps. So the first thing that we need to do is install some more dependencies for Homebrew. So we're just going to copy this first line, go back to our terminal. And I'm actually going to exit out of the terminal and reopen it. Just hit Control V, hit Enter. And this will get the dependencies that, dependencies that we need for creating a package for iOS. Okay, so now the next step that it shows is a brew link lib tool. Now when you run this, it's going to show that it's already linked. So it's already linked and that's fine. We're not going to do the Cython install just yet. We're going to install Cython a little bit later in this video. You'll see. So the next thing that we need to do is, is that we need to clone Kivi-OS. Now you can install Kivi-OS using pip. And I have ran into some trouble in the past with that. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to clone Kivi-OS. So in GitHub forward slash github.com forward slash Kivi forward slash Kivi-OS, we're going to scroll down, starting at the top, we're going to scroll down to where it says development. And this is if you're going to clone it, do it yourself. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to go ahead and copy this. And we're going to come back to terminal. So where do I want to put this when I clone it? So I'm going to do ls. And if you watched our previous video, the previous video, I've created a folder called YouTube. And you may have created a different folder. But I'm going to change directories to YouTube. So I'm going to do cd YouTube. And I'm going to hit ls. And so there is our tech news project folder. And so I'm just going to clone it right here. So I paste the command in that I copied from over here, and that is git clone, and then it has the URL. I'm actually going to take, um, no, I'm, I'm going to hit enter since I copied everything. I thought I left something out, but I didn't. So I just copy that. Okay, so it's, it's done copying. And we can hit ls just to see kivi-os. The next thing it shows that we need to change directories to kivi-os. So cd kivi. And I'm just going to hit tab to finish finish that uh, folder out automatically. And then we're going to want to create a virtual environment folder. And it shows python 3-m vnv. And then they have vnv. V-E-N-V. I'm sorry. I'm going to use env because that's just a simple reminder that it's an environment. It starts with env for environment. And then we're going to need to activate that environment. So dot env, which is our folder name that we specified here, forward slash bin, forward slash activate. Okay, so you can see now that we've activated this environment right here. And we need to finish the installation. So we're going to do pip install dash e 
space period or dot hit enter this may take it a few minutes or not it, it got done fairly quickly <laughs> um, so the next thing we want to do while we're inside this environment is I just want to use pip to install Cython so I'm going to use pip install Cython and so it successfully installed Cython that's great the next thing that we need to do is is we need to find the path for our directory that we're going to want to use for our project and you'll see what I mean so I want to open up a second terminal real quick a new window and so now we're at our home directory I'm going to move this over here real quick so if we type ls you can see this is our home directory and this is the folder I want to go into YouTube so change directory YouTube ls and so we have two folders now tech news kivi ios if you want to use your own project that's fine for the for this video i'm just going to use tech news because that's where we left off in the previous uh tutorial video so we're going to change directory to tech news ls and we have an app folder now that's where we want to go to and cd app now since we're in our app app folder the reason why I, I made an app folder just for holding or just for having our files main.py and main.kv is because we're gonna point our project you'll, you'll see in a moment we're gonna point our project to this app folder and the reason why we want to have our own folder is if we've just pointed the project to tech news folder to the tech news folder the readme file and also the environments folder would be included with that so just moving forward I'm going to type in PWD now what PWD stands for is print working directory and I'm going to copy this right there so we've got users Jacob Cavanis YouTube tech news app and app is our folder that holds our Python and KV files. Now going back over here to this terminal, I'm just going to put that over there so we don't see that anymore. We're going to have to create, hang on, I'm looking at my notes real quick. I, I, I missed one step. Okay, so sorry about that. So we're going to have to build um, our KV and Python 3 for the tool chain. So you use Python 3 or yeah, Python or Python 3. Since we're in an environment, it doesn't matter. We can either use Python or Python 3. I'm just going to use Python and toolchain toolchain.py build kivi space Python 3 now this will take a, a good while you know if you're gonna go eat supper soon I would suggest just letting this run go eat supper and uh, I'm gonna pause this and I'll come back in a little while okay so we're back after Kivi iOS got done building so I didn't really explain what this does. It builds uh, Kivi and Python 3. You can also build other modules, such as if you had NumPy, uh, you would just, if you needed to add something else into the, the build, you could add NumPy, which I'm not going to do. Um, so the next thing that we need to do, which I've already kind of showed you, is we need to find the, the apps directory, which I already have here, pwd. And then we're just going to copy this directory. And this is the directory to where our KV and PI file live. And we just want the folder just to have those two files or whatever Python files that you need in for your project. The next thing that we need to do is that we need to create the project for Xcode. So to do that, I'm going to exit out of that terminal. So we'll just have one open. So we need to use the commands Python. So 
space toolchain.py space create because we're creating an Xcode project. And right here, this is what you're going to name your Xcode project. So I'm going to use tech news. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can kind of see it all in one line. So tech news is going to be the name and we're going to do space and this is where you put your directory. So I'm going to paste in the directory that I just copied from the other terminal and it's going to be users, Jacob Cavanis, YouTube, tech news, forward slash app. App is the folder where our Python files live and KV files live. And I'm just going to hit enter or return. And then, so it shows that our project directory has been created, our Xcode project has been created. The next thing we need to do is we need to open that Xcode project in Xcode. So while in the terminal, you type in open. Tech news is what I called my project. So it's, if you named it something different, it would be whatever you named it, dash iOS. So tech news dash iOS. Oops, iOS forward slash technews dot xcode proj. So technews dot xcode proj. Hit enter and xcode will open here in that project folder. Now there's a couple things that we need to do. We're going to click on technews. We're going to go over to the signing and capabilities and if you have not done this already, um, if you if this is the first time you're doing this, you need to click on Team, hit Add an Account, and you sign in with your information, um, and then I'm going to exit out, and then you would click on your team. Once you've added it, you you would click on you, you know, or if you've signed in as someone else. Um, and then we're also going to change the bundle identifier to my, my first and last name, Jacob Cabanez. And so we've added our team. We've changed our bundle identifier. We're just going to go back to general just so we see this. And that should be everything. I'm also going to change what device type that it's going to be simulating. I'm just going to put iPhone 11 Pro Max. You can use any of these. Then I'm just going to hit the build. And then it's going to build our app. The first time that it runs, it's going to take a few minutes because it's also loading simulator. So we can click right here. And we can see the simulator right here starting up. We're just going to let that run. Okay, so it actually finished, and you're going to see some output down here at the bottom right, and you can see it was leaving. So if we come back over here and you try opening it, it doesn't work, which that's okay. That's to be expected the first time you run it. So it shows, if you look, module not found error, no module named requests. So this is a great tutorial because it also shows that if you have any kind of modules, you'll need to also import them into your tool chain. So we're going to go back into terminal and we're going to need to use the command python toolchain.py pip install and the module that we do not have imported yet is requests. Requests. Hit enter. And then it's going to import that in. Now, like I was saying before, if you use NumPy, there will already be a recipe available. Recipes are like um, pre made for Toolchain, um, and they're not modules that need to be imported with PIP. Okay, since we've got that imported. We're going to run it again. I'm going to bring up our iOS device. Oh, there it goes. And it's still starting. 
it's running and it crashed again which that's fine so no module named bs4 which is beautiful soup 4 which is a web scraping software so what we need to do is is we need to go back to terminal and we need to import that so we're going to do python toolchain.py pip install bs4 hit enter okay so it installed and let's go back to xcode and build it again and see if it completes okay so uh, you can see that the app is now running on a simulated iPhone 11 Pro Max and if we just uh, so it says refresh for new so if we click refresh it grabs the latest article from Bluefin Computer. So, um, yeah, uh, I mean, this is everything that you need to get a Kivi app on iOS. Now, if you wanted to run it like if you had an iPhone or iPad or iPod or something, then of course you would come up here and you would you would plug in your device, and then it would show up over here you would have to allow it on your device like it would pop up and it would say do you trust this device and you would just click allow and you instead of choosing a simulate ios simulator you would just choose your device and uh yeah i mean that's uh that's basically everything for getting that to run on an ios device if, uh, you know, if you found this video helpful or, you know, if you like the content, uh, I would like for you to subscribe and then also um, like the video. That way, other people that are trying to figure out how to do this just like you, they can find this video and, you know, get the help that they need. So thank you for watching and have a good one.